do you want it? Every single play, how bad do you want it? Everything you got, every single play, and let's find a way to get a win. Mahomes slings it for the touchdown. The Chiefs have scored on a touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. He's heading back to the Super Bowl for the fourth time in five years. Here we are, the Super Bowl. Back like you never left. Congrats, how you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. It's always good to be back and and to be in the, the one in Vegas, the first one in Vegas, definitely was a goal of mine. Like I've been saying, we ain't done yet. What's up with all the dad bod jokes, fam? <laughs> you know, I, got, I got a bad angle, man. I, I, so I'm saying- They caught you at a bad yeah, angle. They caught me at a bad angle. I'm, I'm saying, hopefully we win this game. I might just take my shirt off right there in the middle of the of the field. And you gotta I'm make sure it's a good they, angle. Though. And I'm, I need the upward angle, you know what I'm saying? Where they come down and see the chest a little yeah. bit. They caught you kind of front they, over. They caught me, yeah. I'm kind of in a good spot right now, so I know it was a bad picture, but I'm gonna show everybody, man. I got a little bit something going. Not, still a dad bod, but not as bad as that picture made it look like. Yeah. And he wins two road games to make it to Las Vegas. Yeah, it never, never gets old, man. Hell never no. gets old. Miami, Buffalo, Baltimore, one of the toughest stretches of your career. What was it like to get through that gauntlet? It, it was fun. Uh, it really was fun, and you could see it kind of shaping up to be that way, but you know you're going to have to face the best, and that's what you want in this, this sport is playing the best. And uh, we played Miami in freezing, freezing weather, and then we played Buffalo in cold Buffalo. Touchdown, Kansas City! Go to Baltimore, who have been the best team all year, and find a way to win that game. Um, and then we're playing the 49ers this, this week, who's the the best team all year as well. And so just being able to say that we took everybody's best shot and we were able to come out on the other side victorious, that'd be uh, truly remarkable and something that I'm hoping we get to do. When I think about you and the Chiefs, what comes to mind is Jordan and the Bulls, Jeter and the Yankees, Brady and the Patriots. What I mean by that is they love it when you're winning, but they hate you when you become dominant. Do you feel that way? I, I definitely, you definitely have gotten that sense this year. Mm. Um, I think this is the year that it actually has kind of came out that way. Um, that's part of it, um, is you turn into that villain, you turn into that team that everybody doesn't want to win. You have to embrace that too in order to be great. And I think you've seen the greats do that in every sport, um, whenever they start building dynasties and stuff like that. Um, and we want to do that and we want to stamp that with the Super Bowl win. You use the word villain. I'm glad you brought that up because it feels good to be the hero in the NFL. But man, it's fun to play the villain. I see that smile on your face. You like playing the villain role. I, I do, man. And I didn't think I don't think I really understood it until this year. When you get in the playoffs and you're on the road and and you know it's just you and your teammates versus everybody, it's a different perspective. What does it feel like to be a living legend? Man, honestly, it, it's something that I've always wanted to, to be was just someone that could just maximize and be a great sports player and take advantage of all the opportunities. Uh, the living legend is something that I'll leave for other people to talk about. No, 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 no. Listen, I, I know you're a humble guy. <laughs> I need you to tuck your humility inside your pocket right now. You know that you're one of the greats. You don't have to say it. I'll say it. Everybody else is saying it. I think there's, I think there's two things. One, like I said earlier, I never want to have any regrets. I think that's my biggest fear in anything in the world is to not maximize the opportunities that I've had in, in my life. And I know I've been blessed with a lot of different things and being on the Kansas City Chiefs, the time on the Kansas City Chiefs is one of them. Um, and the second thing is I've seen greatness in front of me. I've seen Tom, I've seen Peyton, and I watched that growing up. Um, and I want to do whatever I can that I can be that inspiration for the, the generation behind me. And I think it's a different way, but at the same time, I want guys to come up and say, hey, I want to be like that guy and, and the way he carries himself on the field and off of it as well. After Super Bowl 58, finish the sentence. The Kansas City Chiefs are. A dynasty.